Keeping your vegetable garden bed well watered is one of the most important parts of growing lots of healthy and beautiful vegetables. And how you apply or add the water to the soil affects how much of that water gets down into the roots that can absorb it for the rest of the plant. I'm going to tell you about my favorite way to water our vegetable garden at Lincoln Elementary School. This watering method is called drip irrigation. I'll tell you about some other watering methods in a future video. But in my experience, drip irrigation is most likely to give you the best results with your vegetables. To help you drip irrigate your bed, I developed this simple drip irrigation bucket system. The way that it works is pretty simple. The bucket sits on the wooden rim of the planter, and you just add water to the bucket and let gravity do the rest. The water flows from the bucket into the tubes and slowly starts to drip out these little green things at the end of the small tubes. We call these green things on the end of the tubes drip emitters. And there are 20 drip emitters in each bucket system. You want to make sure that the tubes with the green drip emitters are lined up kind of like this in the bed so that the water spreads out as evenly as possible. If you need to, you can use these metal U-stakes to help to keep the tubing straight. Now if you ever see a drip emitter that's plugged and not dripping like its neighbors, you can just rotate or turn the green part on top a few times to help unclog it. Pretty soon it should start dripping again. Now the nice thing about the drip irrigation system is that it applies the water really, really, really slowly to the soil. Also the water is going to spread out pretty evenly in these uniform circles. This method will work really well for germinating seeds or for transplants. Now after all the water has been emptied from the bucket, you might see some dry areas on the soil surface. To water these, you could make a small drip irrigation bottle from a recycled container like a plastic water bottle or a juice or milk container and use this to slowly add water to these dry areas. To do this, you just need to use a drill and put a few small holes in the cap of the container. I used a 1 16th inch or a 1.5 millimeter drill bit to make about two to four holes in the cap. That's really enough to let the water out slowly. Now once the seeds in these areas have germinated, the roots will spread out and get water from all over. So you don't need to worry too much about these in-between areas, except for maybe right after you plant some seeds. Now if you planted vegetables from transplants, you might want to use your little drip irrigation bottle to add a little bit of water right around each transplant. But after that, you can let the bucket do all the work. Now don't forget that whenever you water your bed, remember to use your handy reminder to write down some important information in your journal. Like what date did you apply the water? Who applied the water? Why did you water it? How much water did you add? And any other leftover information or ideas that you can think of. Now the buckets in our garden hold five gallons of water. And if you filled up the bucket all the way to the top, this would be similar to if you added a half an inch of water over the entire surface of the planter box. In another video, I'll tell you about how to figure out how often and how much water to add to the planters. You know what? I think I'm going to use that music that's in the background there to help us remember how important drip irrigation is. And to help with that, I came up with a real simple little wrap. It goes like this. Drip, drop, drip, drop. Whenever you put the water in slow, it helps the plants to grow, grow, grow. The roots say thanks. The leaves say, oh yeah. Drip, drop is the best way to grow a crop. Drip, drop is the best way to grow a crop. And that's true whether the crop is kale or chard or leeks or onions or green beans or peas or strawberries or you name it. If you have to add water, drip irrigation is the way I would prefer to do it. Okay, so here we go. Ready? Drip, drop, drip, drop. Whenever you put the water in slow, it helps the plants 
to grow, grow, grow. The roots say thanks, the leaves say oh yeah. Drip drop is the best way to grow a crop. Drip drop is the best way to grow a crop. Wanna try it again? Here we go. Drip drop, drip drop. Whenever you put the water in slow, it helps the plants to grow, grow, grow. The roots say thanks, the leaves say oh yeah. Drip drop is the best way to grow a crop. Drip drop is the best way to grow a crop. All these different crops love drip irrigation. And drip irrigation is a great way for us to save water and get the water right into the roots where they need it. Have fun growing your vegetables.